Hello everybody, Line of Cat here. Ignore that, that's something I'm working on for something else. Anyways, uh, I believe it was CNB Minecraft. Let me check really quick and I'll just talk to it. I don't know if I had to this out. Uh, yeah, uh, YouTube, well, CNB Minecraft. I'll leave a link to his video in the description. He made this combination lock. You press the buttons and you you get your output. And now here's the thing, so pretty much here's how it is. You you got your keypad, you got your decoder, you got your RS noil latches, you got your reset line. But the main problem is you know like let's press these buttons the, the code I have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, you can see it moving along, 3, 4, and that lights up. Now let's just deactivate that. Now let's just try, and try pushing 4. There's no way to detect if the previous one has been pushed, which is where these next two contraptions come into play. Two different possible ways of fixing this. As you can see, they're both fairly large. This this first one should work on any version. What you do is, okay, I'm not going to go over how to exactly build this, but pretty much you press the button and see where it lines up, and then for the first digit, the first thing. You remove that torch, you place a block under, you run the redstone under. Instead, here, you do that, and then you remove them all the way down back to the line, so the very last one, 4, won't reset any of the others, because that's how it resets, because the redstone torches. So, if we push 4, you can see that redstone torch down there is now off. And as you can see, this is a complicated system of AND gates and signal reverses and whatnot. If I were to press 1, it resets to 4. And then I press 2. And now those are both off. And I realized that I set this up wrong. Um, I know what to do. Okay, so instead of doing what I did, you want to grab a redstone torch and grab your concrete. Because you know it's, con it's pretty concrete. Do you, do you, okay, there you go. Now it should work. I should have actually tested that. So, anyway, so now you got the first two down. And you press the third one, that one's down. Press the fourth one, and now it activates. And the handy dandy thing about that is you can just press that first button and it resets it. And the really neat thing is you could go one, two, three, four if my Minecraft can stop lagging. And then Unlike this one, where you have to wait between button pressings. Between pressing buttons, what did I just say? Button pressings. <laughs> I should start making like a wall of stupid things I've said or something. Anyways, how this one works is... It, I don't know when exactly this function was added in, but repeater going into another repeater will lock the repeater. So, note what will happen now. Notice that absolutely nothing is changing. Now if I were to unlock it... Oh, I realized I forgot to put a torch there. Let's see now. Okay, so, put that. So now it's off. And it's still off. And it's still off. Pretty much the only way to get to be able to turn this one off is by turning this one off. 
which means turning off this one, which means turning off this one. You have to wait about three seconds between pushing buttons. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, um, hello, function. Okay, uh, let me try options, video settings, mini map levels. And we'll lower the chunk, and then we'll drop that. There we go. Super decreased video settings. And now we wait 10 years for Minecraft to load again. So that I can recall video. Okay, there we go. Uh, back on. Okay, so. Let's just, uh, we'll just reset these. Main problem with this is that you have to reset them manually. Because you have to break redstone, but anyways, we'll press this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No? Um, minor technical difficulties. Okay, that one worked. I'm done. I forgot one. Yeah, okay, we're just going to say that that one's off. And I see that next one is off. And now that next one is off. And now you have the output. So just remember that you want to shift the entire thing. It probably would have helped if I put that one on Vortex. I don't think. If I set it at the time correctly. Yeah, the, the whole locking the, the, the Peter signal thing is pretty handy dandy. And so we'll just go one, two, three, and see if it works now. Okay, so just one so actually, you can make this smaller by going like handy dandy, dandy, and do. And then you just set those ones to four. And that one's obviously on. That would be why it's not working. Right, so now, one. And you can't press them too fast because it won't really work as seen. There's one. There's two, which failed. So you do need. I I okay. If this would no, turn off and lock, lock, lock. Now, this one is the simpler one to set up for if you decide to have more digits. So, if you want to have your combination be like one, two, three, four, three, two, one. 
you could just, you know, extend it. And then, yeah, these so that they keep going for that. This one, you'd have to keep on adding more AND gates, making it quickly grow in size. Yeah, but due to how, due to the fact that this depends on the repeaters, repeaters you gotta uh, wait. Yeah, so two fixes for CNB Minecrafts number lock. This honestly is the better one. Do, do, do. But so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. You know, go watch his original video to find out how exactly to make this. It's pretty cool. I'm using it for a Minecraft map. Do, do, do I have no clue why I'm doing this. Anyways, uh, swipey McSwipe face out. <laughs> yeah, see, see you guys later.